guys. So, welcome back. Uh, Tony's Board Life. I got something new in. Um, I know I don't always have a whole bunch of stuff as new. Um, but in this case, um, this came in. I got it off of uh, eBay. It was such a good price. But we are looking at Fire in the Steps. Fire in the Step. Battles in Ukraine 1941. A Panzer Grenadier game by Dr. Mike Benegoff. That's PhD, so that's that is a doctor. Those are most of the doctors I deal with. <laughs> but usually they're they're EHDs, doctors in education. Anyways, so let's go ahead, let's uh get to shrink off this and see what we've got. Now I got this because I want one of the book modules for this. Um, and I don't know why, but I do have a very big uh, interest in uh, Yugoslavia, well, not Yugoslavia, the Republic of Slovakia and, Czechos and the Republic of Czech. I don't know what it is, but um, they just it just really, really does entertain me. So um, interests me quite a bit. Um, I did do, when I was in college, um, I did do an economics uh, paper, a uh, comparative economics paper between the two after their split from the Czech Republic to the Republic of Slovak. So, oh, and, okay, let's flip over here and let's take a look. On June 22nd, June, or on 22nd June 1941, the German group army, uh, the German army group south invaded the Ukraine as part of a massive surprise attack against the Soviet Union. The southwest front of the Red Army of workers and peasants struck back, resulting in the World War II's largest tank battle. Fire Step is complete Panzer Panzer Grenadier game based on the early battles of Operation Barbarossa in the Ukraine. The tank, the huge tank battles around uh, Brody and Dubno. There are 42 scenarios on these based on these battles organized into battle games that will allow you to play the scenarios in sequence towards your army's operational goals. Plus a solitaire campaign. Oh, that I did not. I did not know that. Okay. Well, let's let's see how this goes then. Let's pop this up. Here. Solitaire campaign. Box is nice. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So what do we got here? So let's take a first look. So, so we have um, the Pins and Grenadier Fire and Step Introductions, Special Rules. Let's see here. Let's... Yep, it's all crooked. There we go. Chapter one, the left flank. Okay, cool. Scenario seven, chapter two, interesting. I kind of like the whole idea of this, of the way this is set up with the chapters and that you go through them you can kind of do it where you go through and you don't pass until you, the victory conditions are completed. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me see if chapter four. Only on twenty-eight thirty. Chapter five. Solitaire campaign, the frontier battles of the German. Uh, once directed, playing the Soviet side can be a chore as unit after unit tends to evaporate. Face to face opponents who eagerly sign on to play the Soviet side, 41, are highly valued. Nevertheless, out of this, ashes. The challenge for the player is out of 
out of the ashes is to blunt the German attack sufficiently to ultimately de de delay the army group south and the needed involved. Hmm. Model the aggressiveness and force of engagements using the initiative and given the force. So basically, you take and you try to a reduction in the German initiative in a scenario counts as one victory point. Anytime the German initiative reduced to zero in this scenario, the Soviet player gets a bonus of two victory points. Finally, every Soviet victory of any sort in this scenario counters a bonus of two more victory points. If the Soviets have accumulated 125 victory points, as defined above, they will have won the campaign, hit 200 victory points, and it will be you on the White Charger Parade in Moscow, not Zhukov. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. That's kind of a neat little, neat little, uh, um, kind of a goal for scenarios. Okay, so we've got ooh, quite a few maps here. We'll look at those in a second here. Put those up there. Interesting dice. Usually you get the plain white dice, but these are actually... Not that I don't have plenty of dice anyways, but hey, they roll well. Okay, let's see here. So we have our units. So the, we have the German units here, and then we have the Soviets here. Uh, oh, the printing's a little bit, let's see. If you look here, the printing slightly off. Should be okay though. Let's see, how are these gonna pop out? Just wanna see how good or bad this is. Okay. Let's see here. Oh. Okay, not great. I just hate it when I pull out one because I always end up getting a nail. But. Even if I clip that, I'll still be seeing a 9. So that's not too bad. It's, is it only that? Eh, no, it's just this It's just this half. Okay, so we'll put this back in here. But that's a 9. What is that, an HMG? Yep. We've got some... Let's see here. What do we got here? We have some Panzer 3Hs. Panzer 4... 6... So I don't know my no Roman numerals. Six E. We've got uh, a Panzer three, three J. Yep. Leaders. Okay. Well, at least here we go. And probably, to be honest with you, I have plenty of counters. So and these are printed perfectly. Yeah. So. Probably once I get them all mixed in and sorted and organized, it'll be fine. I do love the counters, though. I love the colors. I do, I do love the counters here. And we have some more Soviets. We've got, what is it? Those are, we got two, I got an SU-2, a PE-2, and an IL-2. Two Commissars, some Lieutenants. Um, T-37s. Okay, nice. And then we've got... There's a, quite a bit of stuff in here. And then we have our... Some more uh, Russian... Plenty of tanks. Now, well, that's what this was known for, was the tank battle. So, let's... Yep. Okay. Kind of bummed about that. That one little... It was just a couple, and I think I've got plenty of those counters anyways. Okay, and then we have our Panzer IV edition, fourth edition rules. We have our assault chart with our bomb. See, this is... These are good charts. Solid, not wimpy, dimpy paper. Again, nice. Oh, the turn track is so much better. Of course, there won't be anything on the back of that. 
Now, this is, yeah, this is, see, this is annoying. So this is, yeah. So this is the terrain effects chart. Um, so I guess we're just having to guess what Rocky is. Um, yeah, it just, that just annoys me. Yeah, all systems have some sort of annoyance to me. I don't know why. Um, and then we have some informational counters, which we have plenty. Demoralized. Oh, these are these are kind of funny, actually looking. I don't want to say funny looking, but different. Demoralized and on the back, uh, disrupted, moved and fired. Plenty of those. So got plenty of informational counters. I have a couple other modules. Um, as well. So, okay, so let's go ahead and put these back in. Put this back in here. And then we'll put cars back in. And let's go ahead and take a look at these maps. So, this is map number five. We have some farm fields here, a hill here. Looks like a little crick. Creek, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, and we have, let's see, number three. Now, the thing about these is you could go this way with it. Or, because they're geomorphic, but we've got some woods. we got uh, some towns, and we got some more woods here. Get some more farm fields, a town, little town, a hill over here, some more woods. You know, we're going to do this a little differently. We're going to put those back there so we can go boop, like this. Get some serious forest action going on here. Oh, there are a lot of maps in this in this module here. Another creek, one that creek runs all the way through. Creek runs through it, creek runs through it. This one's got some interesting terrain on it. It's a couple, there's a hill here with two levels. Then another hill here. Oh, my parrot decides this to make it known. Another small. And then the final one here. And there we go. So that's the maps. So, there we go. I'm going to fold those back up. Now, I will tell you that I wasn't supposed to get this today. This wasn't supposed to come until tomorrow. So, the fact that I got it today um, is all good. So, I wanted to get this out. So, that was an unboxing of Fire in the Step. Battles in the Ukraine, 1941. This is the problem with the slide boxes. Battles of the Ukraine, 1941. Panzer Grenadier, again, game by Mike Benengoff, PhD. Let's see. I don't list who did all the art or anything like that. Okay, well, there it is, guys. So I will tell you right now that I am working on somewhat of a tutorial, a play game. Um, uh, kind of a learning playthrough of um, SPQR that's coming out. Uh, I'll be working on that over the next couple days. Uh, with that, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.